Hi, Timothy Unkert here, and in this video, we're going to do a very basic setup for Emacs for C. Okay, so this tutorial assumes that you have Linux already installed on your Chromebook, and I am doing this on a Chromebook. So if you're following along on a different operating system, there may be a few differences. Okay, the first thing we want to do is actually install Emacs. So we can do that with sudo apt install Emacs. And I'm going to say yes, and then it's going to go ahead and install. Okay, it's gone ahead and installed Emacs. The next thing we want to install is a compiler, so we can compile our C programs. So I'm going to type sudo apt install gcc and hit enter. And I'm going to say yes. Okay, that's gone ahead and installed. Now we can um, fire up Emacs with just the command Emacs. Okay, and Emacs has opened up. I'm going to, uh, if you don't have this pinned, I would pin it. I've previously installed this, so I have it pinned. Uh, so now what I want to do is create an init.el file. So I'm going to do control X D and that'll bring me to dear ed and I'll hit enter. I'm going to go down to emacs.emacs.d and hit enter. Now I'm going to hit control X control F and that'll allow me to create a new file. I'm going to type init.el and hit enter. Okay. Um, <clears throat> First thing I'm going to do is I want to inhibit that startup screen. So I'm going to type set Q inhibit splash screen a space and a T. Okay. And we can make it a comment, a comment above with two semicolons here. Uh, just um, stops. Uh, startup message, something like that, just so you know what it does. Okay. All right. Um, the next thing I want to do is set a default fault. So let's do that. And later on, I'm going to change this, but I'm going to use a font that we have. And so I'm going to say set face attribute default space nil, space colon font, and then let's do cuisine 16. And close that out and save the file. Now let's evaluate the file. I'm going to do alt x, and I have this command down here, and I can do eval buffer. And you see the font has gotten quite a bit larger now. Okay. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do is make the screen uh, maximized on startup so the full screen when I start it up. So let's do that. I'm going to make a comment that this maximizes the screen on startup. And um, what I'm going to say is add dash hook window setup hook, uh, and then toggle frame maximized space and T, and hit Control X, Control S. And then I'm going to quit this, so I'm going to do Control X, Control C. And let's just, now that we pinned this here, let's just open it. OK, so now it's maximized on startup, so that's good. So I'm going to do Control X, D. Go back to dear ed, go back to my emacs.d and back into my init.el and let's continue. Okay. So I don't want the menu. Um, you can toggle the menu with the command with the alt X and then toggle uh, menu bar mode. I don't like it though for most of the time. I think it's just visual clutter. So I'm going to disable the menu on startup. And what I'm going to do with that is say menu 
bar mode minus one. I also don't like these tools here. You can toggle the toolbar mode if you want, but I don't like it most of the time. So again, it's easy to bring back up, but I want to disable the tools on startup as well. So I'm just gonna type toolbar mode minus one. And I also wanna get rid of this scroll bar. I don't particularly care for it. So disable uh, scroll bar on startup. So I'm gonna say scroll bar mode minus one and do control X, control S and then alt X. Let's eval the buffer at this point. And you'll see that all that stuff went away. Scroll bar is gone, the tools are gone and the menu is gone. It's a nice blank screen to write code, which I really appreciate. Okay. There's not gonna be much to do for setting up C. I want a minimal setup here. So the one thing I do wanna set is set, uh, basically this is GNU style um, indenting for C. Uh, this also works for uh, a few other things, but um, I'm gonna say set Q C default style Linux, and then hit return, and then C basic offset four. Okay, and then let's save it. And that's pretty much all I need to do. So um, right now what I can do is I can go to, well, let's first, let's first uh, quit out of here. So let's quit out of Emacs, let's fire it back up. Okay, and let's go to Dear Ed and let's create a folder called C programs. And let's go in there and let's create a file and we'll call it test.c. Okay, um, and I'll say something like uh, the author of this is Timothy Unkert. Um, the purpose. The purpose is to test my Emacs C setup just to make sure the basic thing works. And then, you know, I'll write a copyright for it, 2021. Um, okay, so anyway, so, okay, so that's a little comment there. Um, you don't have to know all this stuff, but I'm gonna include a preprocessor directive, include the header file. So I'm gonna include uh, stdio.h. And then we'll just have a main function here. And within the main function, we'll have, uh, we'll have uh, just uh, something like, uh, let's just do puts. Hi, my name is Tim. Uh, and then we'll return zero and close that out. And there's one more thing that this reminded me that I do want to do, and that is to just create electric pair mode. But let's just uh, compile this program. So we'll do Alt X and then go to E shell, and we'll uh, list out our file. So we have that test.c. So let's do GCC, we'll do test.c, uh, dash O, and then just test, okay? So now we list that out, we have test, let's run test, and we see, hi, my name is Tim. Okay, so um, that's good there. So that does work. I do want to turn on electric pair mode. Uh, so let's go back to Dear Ed here. And um, then let's we can update this. We see we have our test and our test.c, but let's go back to our emacs.d, go back to the init.el, and um, we're gonna turn on electric pair mode. So, and I'll show you what that does in a file. So we're gonna do electric pair mode one, 
do control X, control S. Let's do, let's eval the buffer. Okay. Um, <clears throat> all right. So we're going to go back to dear Ed now and let's go back up here, go back to our C programs. Let's create a new file. Let's do test 2.c. I won't bore you with the comment on top. We'll just include uh, stdio.h, the header file there. We'll have a main function. And when I press uh, the parentheses, you notice I get the opening and closing parentheses. Same with the curly braces here. That's what electric pair mode does. So I can output something like electric pair mode is pretty cool. Okay. And up oh, told me I forgot to put a semicolon there. So, and then return zero. I'm going to save it. Let's go back to E shell. And let's um, compile this into test two. And let, let's now run it. And we've got our um, C program running. Okay, so that's uh, basically setting up electric pair mode. Now there may be a couple things here. I have a light mode and I actually like the Emacs light mode, but you may wanna get a darker mode. So let's go and pull up the Chrome browser here and let's search for a darker theme like Dracula Emacs, which is a popular one. There's a bunch out there. Um, so we're just gonna click on this and let's go here to the raw theme we'll go to raw uh, and then i'll click uh, save as and we're going to go to our linux files we want to show the hidden files so we're going to go to .emacs.d and let's create a folder within here just call it themes and we're gonna, uh, let's go into our themes folder and we wanna just get rid of the .txt at the end here. We just want .el and we'll save it. Okay, so now we've got that saved in there. And let's exit out of eShell here. Let's go back to Dear Ed uh, here. Whoops, too far. Go back to init el. Okay, so we want to add a custom load path for our themes. All right, so we're going to add to list custom theme load path, and then do uh, quotes, uh, a tilde backslash dot emacs dot d slash themes slash Dracula. Uh, oh no, we just want to do that. Just, there we go. Um, that should be good. And then we want to load custom theme. So we can do something like load theme Dracula T. And the T will make you, uh, it'll make Emacs not ask you every single time you load it up if you really want to use that theme. So I'm going to save this, do control X, control S. Let's eval the buffer. Uh, I spelled custom theme load path wrong. So let's try that again. Uh, let's eval the buffer. And there we go. We've got our Dracula theme. Okay, so that's pretty nice. Uh, one more thing I want to touch on is just installing uh, a custom font. So one font I like is Men Menlo. So what I can do is Menlo TTF, search for that, and just click on this here. Uh, I'm just going to click download. We're going to show in folder. Uh, I'm going to cut this from my downloads folder. So cut and go to Linux files, back to C programs. Oh, no, not C programs, Linux files. Let's go show hidden files. And we don't have a dot local, so we're going to create a dot local folder. So we'll make it dot 
local. Within there, we're going to create a folder called share. Within there, we're going to create a folder called fonts. And then I'm just going to hit control V to paste in the font file there. And now go back to um, near the top of my init.el and I'm going to change this font to Menlo and do control X, control S, and then alt X eval buffer. And you'll see the font changed slightly. Uh, into that Menlo font. So that's how you get a custom font. Anyways, this is a basic setup for C in Emacs. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications as it really helps the channel grow. And I hope to see you in the next video. Have a great day.